All right, so we're gonna run this 11900K through R23, and we've got it at 5.3 gigahertz. That's right. Um, the problem is it's on this little dinky 240 millimeter all-in-one cooler. Um, you can see it's it's pretty thin. Uh, I think that's like a $40 or $50 all-in-one. A lot of people can't get their 11900Ks to run 5.3 on any kind of cooling. Uh, so uh, I've also got the memory at 4000 megahertz gear one, case latency 14, and it's using the IGP. <laughs> yep, that's right. A little dinky cooler on a 11900K. Okay, there we go. All right, so you can see here we've uh, we got it at 5.3 on all cores. Let me minimize that real quick and open up a CPU Z here. Okay, all right. So this is uh, the 11900K, and we got the memory at 4000 Gear One. That is 2x 16 gigabyte Corsair Dominator Platinum, and yeah, I'm using the IGP. Okay, so um, I'm having some fun with this. I'm waiting on my next uh, 13900KF. So until then, I'm playing with this thing. All right, so let's boost. Uh, wait, don't I have that open? No, I didn't open it. Okay, hardware info. Let's move this guy over here. And we're going to run R23. And run. Okay, here we go. We're running it. All right, so let's see what kind of temps we're at here. Okay, so it's running, let's see, what is that, like 60 to 67? Um, okay, it's running through it. All right, we're at, what is that, 5.3? Okay, we're gonna check out the power consumption here. Are we 260 watts? All right, curious to see what the temperature finishes at in the end. And I imagine the score's not gonna be that great being on the IGP, you know, but let's see, yeah, that's okay. Um, okay, so let's see here, what we got, max temps, 65, 66, 72, 72, 70. 73, 65, and 72. That's unbelievable. I mean, that's absolutely unbelievable. Um, 13,900, I mean, I mean I'm, I keep saying 13. 11,900 K at 5.3 gigahertz on all cores on an all-in-one cooler, okay? This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, looking at the power, it was like 268 watts. So, um, you know, I knew this thing would do it on this setup. Um, it is working great though, I'll say that. Um, I'm gonna see if I can dial the voltage back a little bit. I kinda just took a guess. I can probably, I'm sure I can dial it back a good bit um, in the BIOS. And honestly, with where it's at now, I'm confident I can get 5.4. Because this is a 5.5 gigahertz chip anyways. It can do 5.5. So yeah, I'm confident it'll do 5.4 stable on this all-in-one cooler. So don't cry if you own an 11900K, this chip is special. Um, but it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Anyways, thanks for watching.